quills. A dark poem found in a dirty alley that lights up your eyes. Talking about quills today. Quills. Uh, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's been top ten. It's been there for years. Uh, directed by Philip Kaufman. Written by Doug Wright. Starring Jeffrey Rush, Kate Winslet, Joaquin Phoenix, uh, Michael Caine, um, other folks, but those are the main ones that I'll mention. Uh, it's a drama, maybe a little bit of a biopic, period, piece, and it was released in the year 2000. Quills. It is a fantastic film. I mentioned it's a favorite. Um, it's irreverent and masterful, dangerous arousing um basically what it is is it's hard to call it a biopic because it really in that sense would be more of a memoir if it were a book it it um is a reimagining of the time that the marquis de sade who's not a fictional character but the marquis de sade um spent at uh, Sheraton, the, uh, the insane asylum there, uh, as it was called at the time, or I don't know what it was called. I guess it would have been something in French. So um, we're talking about, what, the 1790s, uh, the time of the, the Reign of Terror, uh, Napoleonic times. Um, we get the word sadism and sadist from Marquis de Sade, who was a French writer and uh, people really enjoyed some of his work, but a lot of people thought that it was so pornographic and crass and um, just unimaginable to have it published, uh, which is part of the reason he was in the insane asylum for daring to write such works. So, um, again, like I mentioned, it's a reimagining of his time there, and uh, I don't want to give you any spoilers, but he found a way to still publish work, and, and uh, there's a lot of conflict because of that. The, the movie is brilliant. Um, it really, I think, takes into account, rather than just like the, the generalities of the human spirit, um, also just art and artists and um, taboo and censorship. Um, it, it really discusses the artistic process and how art can be a cathartic um, thing, a cathartic process for people to create art. Um, it... Uh, it discusses that a lot without it being very arty. Um, there's a couple transitions or elements there that I think for the time, again, we're talking about the year 2000, they were maybe trying to get a little artsy with it. But most of all, it, it looks and feels like a period piece. And you think it's going to kind of move a little slow just because of like the way that it's shot and how it's people are dressed, just because of the period of the time, right? But I don't, I don't really think it does. Um, not to say that it moves quickly either, but uh, it is it is a drama and kind of like a biopic at the same time. Like I said, it's a, it's a slice of, of this time and a reimagining of that time that he was there. But it does focus on him. It does focus on the Marquis de Sade and the torment that he suffered um, and the the politics it's not a political film by any means but i mean the politics of the time um you know not any separation of church and state and for the things that he was writing and, and the purposes and why he was writing it um though those things were just not to be had so um it's it's a brilliant film again if you are an artist interested in art um interested in literature when i say art i, I never mean just visual art uh musician writer dance theater whatever um then, then i would say this is a, a movie for you um when i watched it I, I was i was concerned i was worried i was aroused spirited uh inspired ignited um it, it it arouses the senses i don't mean in a 
in a, it was like, oh, there was eroticism and, and that was so sexually arousing. I just mean it arouses the spirit. It arouses the, the, um, the artist within me and, uh, and the human spirit in general. Um, I have some favorite quotes from the film and I, I've used them in art classes before. Um, one of them being from Ab the Abbe, uh, who is play being played by Joaquin Phoenix. And basically he's like, um, he's a man of faith and he kind of oversees the asylum and tries to create programming and, and whatever else, uh, for the folks that are there. And, uh, what was the quote now? I didn't write this one down. Uh, isn't that the duty of art to elevate us above the beast? And I, I love that question. Um, I've used it in classes before just to discuss what is the purpose of art? What is the duty of art? Um, and what is the beast in this na in, in, in this context or, or whatever context? Without context, what do you think the beast is to elevate us above the beast? Um, other quotes that I really enjoy. Uh, again, it's hard when you haven't seen the movie, but... Um, uh, idealism, youth's final luxury, uh, great line delivered by Michael Caine, um, who's, who's not a pleasant man in that film. Um, and, and the last one that I'll share with you is, is from the Marquis de Sade. Uh, in times of adversity, the artist flourishes. Um, it's kind of cheeky. The movie's kind of cheeky, too. It's, it's serious, um, but it definitely plays with humor. And that's another reason that it is one of my favorite films because the nuance, again, like it is, it is dark, uh, but it's very um, smart. And, um, you know, it, it, it plays with humor as well within that seriousness and drama. It does a really good job of inserting that and not in a hokey way or a, you know, a, a very transparent way. Like it, it's good. Um, I really enjoy the way that they inject humor. Um, all my lights are shutting off here because I'm not moving enough for them to sense that I am still here. So hopefully I am not left in the dark. Um, yeah, I would say that if you were into... Sto it, it's good storytelling. Great storytelling, I should say. Um, if you like period pieces, if you like art, any kind of art, I, I believe, again, this is a picture, this is a portrait of an artist is what it is. Um, you know, if you're into historical fitters, if you like erotica, I, th I think that it's, it's, um, worth your time to explore the Marquis de Sade. And this movie is what, um, was my introduction to the Marquis de Sade. And then I started collecting his works after that. So it's a good introduction to him as well. Um, I think that, that it is important and it ha like, um, it's important in, in the fact that there is a film with it wasn't an underground movie you know it wasn't a b movie necessarily it has these stars in it that are uh, and there's people willing to tell this story of this figure in this way that it is challenging it is challenging to the viewer at times um and, and it can make people uncomfortable and it does a good job of that but also again i believe that the nuance is executed so brilliantly that it's not just about creating discomfort that discomfort has a goal and there's to challenge you into thinking in another way uh if, you don't, if you're not already thinking that way or, or, or understanding or processing things that way so i believe it is an important film um and and for people who aren't artists maybe this will help you understand some artists i mean artists come in, in all you know different ways uh with different goals and different ways to process things and how they feel things and whatever but I think this could help someone understand the tortured artist a little better. Um, top shelf. Top shelf stuff. Um, you know, you combine art and sex and darkness and it, in such a beautiful way that, yeah, it's, it's, it's for me. It's, it's, it's a fantastic film. Um, pushes boundaries uh, and gets at humanness. And those are some of my favorite things to be um, engaged with. I think, I think that's it. Um, it's just, yeah, the, the ending is, is spot on, is beautiful. Um, I enjoy the, the, the twists and the challenges that are there. And I don't know how many times I've seen it now, three or four, three or four times, at least three, if not four. 
And it's still just fantastic. It's still within my top 10 favorite movies, top shelf movie, Quills. Give it a shot. <laughs>